Dear grade 12 students, welcome to this presentation in which we will be covering English 312, Unit 5, Lesson 1, Facts and Opinion. The objectives of this lesson will be, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to distinguish between fact and opinion, read for specific information related to fact and opinion, write sentences expressing fact and opinion. So my very first question to you is, what is a fact and what is an opinion? I'll give you one minute to write what fact is and what opinion is from your own perspective. Well, I believe time is done. Let's check. Fact is a piece of information that is true. For example, the movie was three hours long. So a fact is something that happened. It's true. So if the movie is three hours long, you can't really change it. It's a fact. Whereas an opinion is an idea about a particular subject. For example, the movie was boring. An opinion can differ from one person to another, unlike the fact. The, the, your opinion about the movie, let's say, it was boring, but for me, it was interesting. The fact, it's three hours. Regardless, any person you ask him or her that watched the movie, it will be the same. Unlike the opinion, it can differ from one person to another. Writers use facts to support their opinion. Usually, if you want your opinion to be strong, you have to support it by using a fact. Now, what I want you to do is that I want you to read this letter. And after you read this letter, we will be asking you questions. So I'll be giving you two minutes to three minutes to read the letter. Well, let's read it all together. Dear editor, more people should ride bicycles into town. Last year, 73% of all families drove their own cars to the center of town. Car traffic in town is really terrible. Parking places are hard to find, and pollution from, car from cars is a real problem. Citizens who want a nicer, cleaner place to live ought to try this non-polluting form of transportation. Cycling is a good exercise too. The town must not allow this problem to get worse. Instead, people should ride bicycles to different places like school, work to enjoy their healthy, the health benefits of daily exercise. James Adam. Now, I'll be asking you questions and I'm expecting you to answer them. What is the main idea of this paragraph or of this text, the letter? Read and guess what is the main idea. I'll give you 30 seconds. Let's check the answer. Traffic in town is really terrible. So the problem of transportation in town. The main idea is about transportation and the problem in transportation. Okay, opinion. We talked about the difference between opinion and a fact. Opinion is something that differs from person to person. What I want to know in this letter, what was Jim's opinion about the transportation or about the traffic? He said, cycling is a good exercise. What is the second opinion that he has mentioned in the text? Again, I'll give you 30 seconds to try to find it out and note it on your notebook or a paper. People should ride bicycles to different places like school, work, to enjoy the health benefits of daily exercises. It's all an opinion. He 
agrees with that, you might disagree. That's why it's an opinion. But where is the fact? We said the writers use fact to support their opinions. Where is the fact? 30 minutes, 30 seconds. Last year, 73% of all families drove their own cars to the center of town. It's a fact. Why did I say it's a fact? Because there is a percentage. So he stated a fact based on what he said, that the pollution is increasing from the fact. And then he used the fact to support his opinion. Easy? Let's proceed further. Now, what I want you to do is that I'm expecting you to read these sentences and write F for facts and O for opinion. For example, airfares have become too expensive. It's an opinion. Read the rest of the sentences, choose O for opinion and F for fact. I'll give you one minute to read them and answer them. Well, I guess time is up. Let's check the answers. B, English is easier than Arabic. Opinion. I can say that, you can disagree with it. C. Owls are birds that hunt by night. It's a fact. No one can argue about this. I was born in a New York City. No one can argue about where you were born. It's a fact. Exercise is the way to stay healthy. Fact. Internet use has increased every year since its beginning. Again, it's a fact. Now, let's have a further practice. What I want you to do is that I want you to look at these words and I want you to form a sentence that is a fact or an opinion based on what's given. So for example, when I say film and boring, is it a fact or an opinion? Opinion, the film was so boring. You can say the film was so interesting. It differs. Similarly, I want you to classify the rest depending on the words given if it's fact and opinion and form a sentence. I'll give you two minutes to three minutes to do this exercise. Well, time is up. Let's check the answers. Exercise is the way to stay healthy. It's a fact. We all know that exercising is good for our health and it will help us to stay healthy. Fact. Two, there are 12 months in a year. You can't argue with that. Three, April is a month with 30 days. Facts. Opinion. We said number one was an example. The film was so boring. Two, Friday is the best day of the week for me. It might be different for you. Spring is the most beautiful season, again, for me. It's my opinion. In your case, you might like winter, so you'll say winter is the most beautiful season. So it differs. By that, we reach the end of the lesson. It's as easy as knowing that a fact is something that you can't argue with, whereas an opinion is something that differs from one person to another. Thank you and see you next time.